I know you're super excited to get out there and start shopping. Well, stop. Be sure you get pre-qualified before you go start looking at homes. You don't want to get out there, fall in love with the home, and then find out you just can't afford it. So let's talk about the five tips of getting pre-qualified to buy a home and what to avoid. Hey everyone, it's Teresa here from eXp Realty, and I've been selling real estate here in Phoenix, Arizona for seven years now. If at any point in this video you have questions about the real estate market, drop them in the comments below. You can also find my website and email in the description if you want to view all the latest properties for sale here in Phoenix, Arizona. Now let's get to it. Buying a home is one of the biggest purchases you're going to make. You want to take your time and be sure you find the right lender and know your options before you get out there and start looking. Tip number one, take a look at your credit. What is your credit score? If you are unsure, pull a free credit report from one of the big three reporting bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Make sure you're up to date on your payments, check to make sure there's no errors on your credit, and if there's high balances in your account. Lenders also want to know that you can afford to make the mortgage payment. They look for the debt to income ratio. To get this number, take your total monthly debt and divide it by your gross monthly income. Most lenders want you to be below 43% but there are some options where it's up to 50%. Talk with your lender to find out more. Tip number two, how much can you afford? This is the most important thing to do before you start looking at homes. You want to know that what you're looking at is what you can buy. You don't want to fall in love with a home you can't afford. It is so disappointing. Your lender will look at the total mortgage payment, HOA fees, taxes, and insurance as part of your pre-qualification. Also consider your down payment and how much money you want left over in case you want to update things to the home. Tip number three, Compare multiple lenders. Each lender provides different products for you to consider when purchasing a home. You want to research and be sure you're getting the best deal on the terms, rates, and fees. You also want to talk with the lender you will be dealing with directly. You will have a lot of contact with this person and you want to be sure it's someone you're comfortable with and trust going forward. Tip number four, know your mortgage options. A lot of buyers assume they need 20% down to buy a home. Well, that just isn't the case. There are many options out there for you to consider. As mentioned above, each lender has different options for you to qualify for. Some lenders offer conventional loans with as little as 3% down. There are also FHA loans that can be 3.5% down. And if you're a veteran, there are VA loans out there for you as well. Terms, rates, and fees all vary. So again, reach out to multiple lenders to ensure you're getting the best option for your situation. And tip number five, get the pre-qualification form. Here in Arizona, it is required that the pre-qualification form from your lender is submitted with your offer. The lender will fill out the Arizona State form that states they have spoken with you. The loan type, which you are qualified for, how much you're qualified for, and what your down payment will be is all part of this form. They will also note if they've received additional documentation, such as pay stubs and W-2s. This form will be signed by you and submitted with the purchase contract when you make your offer. At this time, I also like to have my lender call the listing agent to discuss your pre-qualification for purchasing the home. This gives the seller comfort in knowing your qualifications before accepting an offer. It also makes you stand out above other buyers that are also competing on the home. Getting pre-qualified before seeing homes is so crucial in the home buying process. This is just the beginning when you buy a home. Once you are under contract, you will begin to further complete your loan application to get us to the close of escrow. During this time, your lender will recheck your credit, employment, and any assets that you have. Now I said I would let you know one thing to avoid when buying a home. Don't buy anything. Don't buy any big items. Don't buy a car. Don't open a new credit card. Don't buy new furniture, nothing. This will all impact your credit and your debt to income ratio. This could cause you to no longer qualify for the home. There have been times when a buyer is all set to close, thinks they're all in the clear and goes out and buys new furniture for their home before closing day. They put all of it on a credit card to make monthly payments. The lender pulls their credit one final time before close and discovers they can no longer qualify. This new line of credit pushed them over the debt to income ratio they had when they were approved. The buyer would now lose the home and have to cancel the contract. You do not want this to happen. So please do not make any big purchases once you begin this process. This is a big enough purchase already. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found this information valuable. If you did, give it a thumbs up for us and leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate the support. If you're looking for more content about buying or selling real estate here in Phoenix, Arizona, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or book a consultation. All of the information is listed in the description below. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video. I will see you on the next one.